This is a look at uh, Johnny Bazook Town for the Sega Saturn um, by published by US Gold. Hmm. They died a death. Used to uh, put out a lot of good games back in the day, if I remember correctly. Um, developed by Ark. Is that Ark? I think it's Ark. Yeah. Um, yeah, released in 1994. Uh, it just looks like a 2D, um, 2D platformer. Um, I don't like the look of this one. Don't like the box art. So if I'm judging a book by its cover, then uh, I don't like this. <laughs> Simple. So it actually comes with a free audio CD. I haven't got the manual for this game though. So. Just bang in the audio CD and see if we can get any idea of what to expect. I don't really expect much from the CD to be honest. Play. Um, is that playing? Interesting. I'll try again. I do have problems with uh, the sound on the uh, recording software, so capture software. Uh, so we've got sound now. Um, so 24 tracks. Uh, What does it say? What does it say? What does it say? It doesn't actually, uh, it does mention free audio CD. So it's got some Marvin Gaye on here. Uh, ah, fuck this. Let's get the game in. The trouble is, I'm going to have to listen to that shit music while I play the game, I think. So. Ah, uh, let's see what we've got. Look at this little freak with purple hair. Uh, I hate 2D platformers on 32 bit consoles. Maybe Metal Slug's okay. suitable for all ages usually a bad sign when I'm looking at a game so just jumping into this real quick see what it's all about can't be doing cutscenes I don't like the look of the guy I don't want to see him more so, loading screen, disc spinning. Ah, so we're in now. Um, what the fuck, it's a bit eerie. So you got a guitar that's also a machine gun. Um, not quite sure why. And you're going around picking up. Um, musical notes and you can sort of use your machine gun or guitar, I don't know what the fuck it is, to uh oh god. Um yeah, to make yourself fall it's a bit slower so you can pick up more notes. So see what else there is. Dodgy dodgy fucking jazz music. Why the hell the f developers thought that people would go out and buy a Sega Saturn to play this? I do not know. It's also out on the uh, 3DO as well, I believe. It's 
It's almost like one of them games where they were developing it for like the Mega Drive and then the Saturn was announced and they just thought, you know what, fuck it, we'll wait for that. Yeah, not enjoying this. I'm going to this Just bizarre, why? You know, why? What's it all about? The guy's a fucking douchebag with a fucking guitar. And there's this shit music. Um, you s kill an enemy and they seem to plant a fucking seed. And then another one pops out of the ground. This makes the original Rayman look like the best thing ever. I'll pick that up on the Saturn actually, Rayman. I used to have it on the uh, PlayStation but I didn't, didn't like it at the time. What the fuck? Why do I have to climb the other one further on and like scale it and then jump over the thing when I can just walk past these ones? I fucking hate 2D platforms like this. It's pretty annoying when you die as well and you have to listen to his music start over and over again. It's just fucking annoying. Yeah, why do I have to scale this bit? Annoying. Fucking why can't I jump on that bastard mushroom? Oh, I can now. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. What a shit game. Home or hell? Shit. I'd rather fucking go to hell and play this game. Hit me. I don't think, I think even a fucking heroin addict fucking junkie looking for the next fix wouldn't take this off your fucking hands. What a load of shit. Unbelievable. Why the fuck? It's like they had to give you a fucking free CD to like I don't know, soften the blow. Yeah, just avoid this. And if, if you hate 2D platformers like me, um, and you're filthy rich, just fucking go out there, find as many copies as you can of this game, and just fucking burn them. That's all I can say.